Hey, Melon Mechanic. So uh, we got a little project to do today. This is something that's been in the back of my mind for quite a while, and I figured I'd go ahead and jump on it. What we got here is we have two 100-watt solar panels. We have a solar charge controller. It's for 36 volts, and what this is going to go on is the old golf cart here. So... It seems like a shame that uh, when you park this thing outside, it just sits there when there's an opportunity to charge it up. So what we're going to do is put these panels and that charge controller in this golf cart. So what I got is some thin one inch by two inch aluminum here. And we're going to make a rack. That I'll mount to the top of this thing, and I can keep all my side covers here. That's going to mount to the side, and then the panels will go on top of that. And then we're going to wire it, and it's going to charge, and I'm never going to have to plug it in again. Maybe. All right, got all my pieces laid out here, just kind of rough. Seeing what I'm working with, I took my old trusty tape measure and measured the top again, and I was wrong. I made a mistake. So I have these pieces cut, these long ones cut at 72 inches, and the top is actually 77 inches, so I'm off just by a little bit. So uh, measure once, cut twice, I guess. So what we're gonna do on the front here is my gap I'm gonna have, I'm not just gonna weld on a stub piece right here. We're gonna do something cool. I think if I take these, just put a you know cut a 45 I guess that'd be a 22 and a half 22 and a half and stub that in and do the same on this corner make the front look a little cooler all right I got my pieces cut here and I think that looks pretty cool 45 in the corners I extended my front out the five inches I needed so uh, let's go ahead and weld that up and then we'll do the cross members in the back and then we'll mount the panels to it do that all right, I got everything welded up here. Even put the, uh, the back piece in. This stuff wasn't too hard to weld. You just had to keep the, uh, the temperature low. Take your time, not burn through it. Now what we got to do is let's mock up the panels to see where the, uh, the cross members need to go. And uh, we'll put those in. All right, got it all mocked up here. Got my two panels. I measured it for the third panel here. I think I will put a cross member there. Uh, debating whether or not to do these cross members like flush like that or up like this. And I think I'll do it this way because then I can run a strap on the bottom and a bolt up to mount the panels from underneath. And then that gives me a little lip here. In case I wanted to carry something long, you know, or rest on top of here, not on the panels. Uh, and to fill these holes, I found some of this aluminum kind of strap right there. I think I'll just weld those there, there, not the ends there. I'll need a little bit more strength. All right, everything now is welded together. Right, you can see my end caps. Those are welded up. This is high. Like I said before, I can put straps underneath to attach the solar panels. I got room for one, two, three solar panels. Now what we need to do is, let's go ahead and take this top part. Uh, I need to, or I want to reuse all of the sides here. Uh, maybe I'll just, in the process, clean this. Filthy. Uh, take the sides off, take the top off, and then we'll mock this up and hopefully there's an easy way to attach that to these uprights here. We got two in the back and then that front where the mirror is that front hoop needs to attach there. So uh, let me uh let me take this apart and see what we got. Alright I got the top is on looking pretty good. So it was relatively simple to mount. Um, you can see I'm sitting on top of this the other top uh, sat kind of next to it, so this is just a tad bit taller. Uh, but I ran a strap down with a bolt 
Same on this side, you can see right there. And then the front hoop, I just put a piece of uh, angle here up front and then just ran two fasteners on either side straight through. And uh, this kind of blocks the gap that's here a little bit to keep air you know, on a cold morning or something, keep air from coming through. Uh, I did mount two solar panels up here. You can see how just they're flush with the side here. Um, and then these kind of stick up to protect them. So, and then they're just mounted with straps there and there. So, so anyway, uh, moving on, what we need to do is do the install on this solar controller. So what I'm using here is this is the, uh, the can't really see that Rover Boost. It's 10 amps. Uh, 36 and 48 volts, so it's specifically designed for golf carts or, you know, multiple battery bank charging. And the way this works is it's a boost. Uh, so, in the name, boost. So what it does is it takes the voltage from the solar panels and these need to be below 36 volts. So these are each... Ah, uh, what are these, like 20? Yeah, I don't know if you can see that right there. It says 24.3 volts. So I gotta wire these all in parallel. So this sees a lower voltage than the battery pack. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna boost it up to charge these. So uh, it doesn't like seeing a voltage higher than the battery pack. So I gotta wire those in parallel. I did make a uh, bracket for these, or this, charger here because where I want to put it there's not a lot of real estate in here is this area right here it's gonna come down here and mount just like that you can see that right there and the reason I wanted it there is it's a real short shot right to the battery terminals here I got plenty of real estate over there uh, but I got a future uh, future mod I want to put there. So in the meantime, we'll, we'll just put the charger here and then run the wires down one of these up right here. All right. We got her all done. Got the side covers on, three solar panels. I even painted it. Nice that looks painted. Not all bright and sober. I don't think it looks too bad. Sitting on top. Let's see what the controller looks like in here. So it's just charging right now. Connected to the batteries. You can see underneath the solar panels like that. It lets a little light through, which is neat. And I got my, my acrylic sheet up there. It acts like a little skylight, which is neat. Uh, Having the panels exposed on the bottom keeps them cool, keeps air flowing. They're a little bit more efficient in the sun. So, kind of dual purpose. Keeps them cool, keeps the weather off you, and they generate power. Like I said before, I had to wire all these up in parallel. But kind of made for a, I won't say messy, just, I don't know, not as clean as I would like it, but it's doable. But I connected everything here and then just ran it down the, uh, the upright right there. So I've been driving this thing for about a week or so and uh, just kind of collecting data and seeing how good it performs. The highest wattage I've gotten out of these panels is about 280 something watts, which is which is okay. Um, range on it on a full bright sunny day, about 15 miles of recharge, which is pretty good for, for essentially free charging. Uh, so I did the calculation. If I take these batteries all the way down to zero or 50% depth of charge, it's going to take me at about 280 Watts of output. Take me about 15 hours to go all the way back up to fully charged. So you could drive it all around one day and then the next day just leave it out in the sun to be fully charged so 
Um, it is dependent obviously on the weather. Today's kind of a gloomy, cloudy day and it's still charging. It's only putting out probably about a dozen or so watts right now. Uh, right now it's about eight o'clock in the morning. So the sun's not fully up either. So but anyway, it works, uh, works pretty good. I'm happy with it. And uh, I'm gonna continue to drive it and see if the, uh, the range improves, if the panels break in, if I get any more power out of them. So uh, but this has been a fun little project. And I uh, hope this information was uh, helpful to you guys if you guys wanna build one yourselves. But like always, thank you for watching.